hey guys and welcome back to another video so first things first i'm going to go in with my mac soft ochre paint pot and prime my eyelids i love using this to create a nice even canvas all over the eyes up to the brow bone area it just cancels out any redness or veins that i have showing on my lids and allows the eyeshadows to show more true to color next to map out the actual butterfly wing i'm taking my nyx jumper pencil and milk on an Eag show lip brush i love this brush to create really defined work and i'm going in and mapping out that shape like i said so i start from my inner corner and do three bumps across the eyelid and then i create a nice long kind of wing shape on the outer corner of my eye as you can see the nyx jumper pencil and milk is really creamy so it's very easy to blend away if you did make a mistake and just kind of fix up so i really do like using this to create that eye look and like just map out the shape like i said do take your time with this step because it is quite integral to get the right shape and make sure both eyes are even once you're happy with the shape just fill it in and then we're going to move on to the next step so next I'm taking my Chi Chi Pride palette and this beautiful lime green kind of apple shirt, apple color. And I'm placing that on with my precise shader brush from Zueva along the outer points of the butterfly wing. Then I'm going in and actually kind of mapping out those three sections along the eyelid. So I'm bringing it down, just kind of creating like an outline of it. I am trying to kind of mimic that peacock wing. So I wanted that green to kind of encircle the different sections of the butterfly wing and then it fades into the different colors on the peacock feather if that makes sense then i take a deeper green i'm taking these two green shadows from the pride palette again just mixing them together and i'm going in and kind of deepening up the outer points of the peacock feathers <laughs> and just kind of going along basically where we place down the lime green i'm going back in with those two deeper green shadows and just feathering them out and just kind of blending it in I do go back in with some of the lime green as well to blend around the deeper green so it just kind of fades in a little bit more seamlessly and there's a bit more of a gradient effect a bit more depth to the eye then i take this beautiful light yellow shadow and i'm placing that on the inner points where we haven't placed the green down so basically on all that white area i just go ahead and place some of that yellow in I do go back and forth between the yellow and that lime green shadow and it helps create that beautiful soft blended effect into that deeper green on the outer points of that peacock butterfly wing. Next I'm taking my clay pot from Tarte. This is the blue moon clay pot and I'm going in and creating kind of like a half moon shape or like a little circle, almost oval shape would you say, <laughs> along the top of that yellow. So along each section, I go and I place a little bit of blue on the top half of the yellow section, just to kind of mimic the little bit of blue in the peacock feather. And then to set that clay pot in place so it doesn't smudge or anything, I go in with this stunning, absolutely stunning boiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek in the shade Pegasus. And it's just so beautiful. I was obsessed with it. It's such a nice touch to the look and really makes that blue stand out even more. And as you turn your eye, it gives a bit of a reflect to it. So I, I really, really liked it. Next, for that little black circle bit in the middle of the peacock feather, I'm first taking this um, eye coal from Fat in the Moon. And on an eyeliner brush, I'm just placing that down. It comes out quite creamy. So I used it initially like to create a base down and kind of get the, get the right shape i didn't want to use an eyeshadow i thought i needed something a bit more creamier to get the shape that i wanted so i'm just kind of placing that underneath the blue as you guys can see here not really any rhyme or reason to it just a little black dot underneath the blue and to set it in place because it will smudge i find that it's so creamy that it does smudge i need to set it so i'm just taking a just a regular black eyeshadow anything like that will do and just setting that in place once you've done that, you should have a little something like this and it's time to move on to the outlining of the butterfly wing. So I'm taking my Hyper Sharp Liquid Liner and basically just drawing your regular Joe kind of wing just along the lash line and just extending it out along that the edge of the butterfly wing. I didn't want to make the liner too thick because like you don't want to be covering up all that work that you've done with the eyeshadow. So keep it quite thin, thin along the lash line. I do make it semi-thick on the outer corner 
Once you've done your wings, I'm going to go and just start outlining those little bumps along the butterfly wing. Do take your time with this step. It is a little bit more intricate. Um, I want it to be quite thick along the outer point of the eye and it kind of tapers in to be a little bit more thinner towards the inner corner. Um, that was just my preference. I find it looks a little bit more kind of like natural, <laughs> like, you know, actually um, reflecting like a butterfly wing. And once you've done that, we're actually going to bring the eyeliner down along those green um, lines that we've created before with the eyeshadow. Um, so I do want it to be quite thin and intricate with this bit. And it comes and connects to a kind of triangular point um, along the outer points of that butterfly wing, if you guys can see. Sorry, I'm not explaining it super, super well. You'd think by like my fifth butterfly look, I'd be better at it, but not yet. <laughs> So basically just kind of create little triangular points and then one line that connects down and it makes it just look a little bit more natural and like actually represents that butterfly effect on the wing rather than just having three lines just going straight down. Then I go in and extend my inner corners as well. So don't forget that step because it does create a bit more of like a feline effect to the eyes. Next I'm going in with some white body paint. You guys can use white eyeliner if you have that. And I'm just creating some dots along the butterfly wing. Again, no rhyme or reason to it. I just have larger dots on the outer point of the wing and they taper into tiny little dots towards the inner corner of the eye. And I really love this effect. It really does give it a little bit more of like that butterfly look, like that butterfly wing look. Next for lashes, I went in with these stunning fluffy lashes from Anitude. I'm obsessed with their lashes, honestly. You guys see me using them all the time because they're just so good and they really just give a bit more vavum to this eye look. For my waterline, I didn't have a yellow eye coal, so I actually went in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk to line my waterline and then I put a yellow eyeshadow over top um, so that I gave that yellow uh, effect to my waterline just kind of mimics that yellow on our lid area as well I want to kind of tie that in together then to kind of deepen up the bottom lash line I'm taking this deep purple kind of bluey shadow and mixing it with this um, kind of more royal blue shadow as well and just deepening up the bottom lash line keeping it focused on the outer two-thirds of my eye I'm not bringing it all the way into my inner corner because that will close off the eyes and I want to keep it a bit more feline -y bit more elongated and almond shaped. To blend it out I'm taking this medium blue tone from the same pride palette from Chi Chi and just softly blending out any harsh lines and edges and then to further blend it out I'm taking this beautiful light kind of sky blue shadow from the same palette and just blending out the edges of that as well. For my inner corner and brow bone highlight I'm actually using my faux color highlighter from the Superstar palette and just applying that to the very inner corners of my eye and the very highest point of my brow bone. Then to finish off the look, I'm going in with some mascara. This is the Raw Cosmetics Mascara. I'm obsessed with it lately. It is so, so good. And that, guys, is the finished makeup look. I also forgot to mention, I did put two little diamantes on the outer two points of the wings. I just found it just gave this look a little bit more drama, a little bit more glam to it. It makes those peacock wings really stand out. But yeah, that is the finished eye look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's makeup look. Please let me know what you thought and any requests that you would like to see in my future videos down below. And I'll see you very, very soon. <laughs> Bye.